All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to the tiny herd. Today I'm just gonna be showing you guys a little bit of our evening routine. I'm gonna do another kind of talk through spot clean video and talk about our evening routine while I do that because a lot of people have asked me specifically what I do. So in the morning, whenever I get up for work, uh, the only things I do in the morning are give everyone pellets and make sure they have water and hay for the day. That's pretty much all I do so I can get out the door. So the majority of the stuff I do with the pets is in the evening. So when my boyfriend gets home around five, he gives them their dinner because they scream for food the second that he gets home. So right at five, they get dinner, which is their veggies. That is their dinner meal. So they get their pellets in the morning, they get their veggies for dinner in the evening, and then they don't really have anything else that happens until later after I get home. So I get home and kind of just check on everyone usually. Uh, my boyfriend's already checked on them, but I just like to say hi to everyone, make sure everybody's good, see what everyone is up to, and I kind of just let them be we do whatever we're doing for the evening. And then later on, I come in and I do our spot cleaning. So it is 7.45 right now. And I'm working on doing our spot cleaning for the evening. And these cages actually got cleaned yesterday. So they're in pretty good shape today. But this shows you guys exactly how cages get in one day so these were cleaned yesterday evening right around this same time actually so this is a whole day of poop and hay mess so gives you a more realistic look at how things actually are leave that open so this is the main thing I do for our evening routine I usually come in spot clean everyone change any pads that I need to I come in I spot clean change any pads that I need to and then I do anything else that needs done so I refill hay for example they need more hay I refill water, clean the bunny's litter box, which I actually did that before I started filming this today, just because it's kind of a pain in the butt to do. Hi, can I get in here please? Hello, hello cuties. I'm working on testing hay for our hay comparison video. And if you are familiar with my channel, you probably have heard me say that I am very allergic to Timothy hay and it's all Timothy hay. So if I'm a little sniffly in this video, I apologize. But I'm super allergic to Timothy hay. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Literally just spot cleaning. So I guess you kind of know what, what that is. This one's definitely my hardest cage to clean. I'm kind of thinking about taking the loft off because like I don't even sweep the loft because they don't go up there. So it seems kind of silly to have it when it makes my life harder when they don't even use it. So put their little rug back. close their door. All right, anyways, back on track to what I do in the evenings for our routine. So like I said, I spot clean, which is what I'm doing now. And then that's all that we really do. Spot clean and I refill water and hay, like I said, anything that needs done. And then right before bedtime, so at like 9, 9.30, 10-ish, I just check on everyone 
Make sure everybody's doing good. Make sure everybody's good for the evening. And turn their light out. And that is really a whole day with piggies. Doesn't sound like a lot of work, but ends up being more work than you think. Especially when you have three cages worth like I do, which it actually works out really perfect. I really prefer having like three cages with a pair in each. I really like having the pairs. I don't know why, but I just feel like we go through less laundry this way and cages aren't that bad. Like this video is probably not even gonna be that long because spot cleaning doesn't really take me that long anymore. I kind of have a system down. Plus I kind of have their cages set up. You'll kind of learn that if you have piggies that there's like optimal ways to set their cages up to help spot cleaning and to keep them the cleanest. So like for a lot of them, I'll put a microfiber rug underneath their Ikea bed because that's where they like to lay the most when I do that. And that makes it super easy to just grab their rug. And that's where the majority of the mess is which you guys will see in a second when I do that. Or like I put small pads underneath their hay rack so that I can just pick it up, shake it off in the trash can. A lot of people also ask me how I don't have so much hay on my fleece, like, like hay gets stuck in their fleece. And that Partly I would say is what kind of hay you have because when I used Timothy hay, it was always a bigger issue for me. But you can see like this hay is really like leafy. So it doesn't really get stuck that much. But also using this litter scoop instead of a brush helps a lot because it kind of scrapes it off. And it doesn't harm my fleece at all. Like I make all my own fleece and I don't have any issues with it like getting ruined by using the litter scoop. So that is a tip if you need one. Whew. It's really hot in this room. <laughs> not like, it's not too hot for the pets, but like for me moving around and stuff, I think it's like 70 degrees Cali. Eat the dustpan. It's like 70 degrees in here. So the fan is on. So it's not too bad for them, but all right. So there's another one done. And then we just have the messy little babes. I don't know why, but they're for some reason just like generally pretty messy. They're kind of just messy pigs. It might be honestly their long hair. I feel like their long hair gets stuck in everything. I'm like constantly giving them haircuts and baths because it's just like a never ending battle to keep them clean. Like I swear June always looks brown. Like her butt just always looks brown no matter what I do. I pretty much just like shave it every couple of weeks because otherwise it just gets wet and gross and I don't really know what else to do besides shave it because I don't want to be giving her a bath that often. And we use a pet clippers for the bunnies and they don't really mind it. So you can see I clipped her butt not that long ago. I wouldn't really recommend you just do that just to do it. And I don't shave it like bald. I just like trim it down. It's just much faster to do it that way. But I wouldn't get clippers for your guinea pigs if you don't need them for something else because it's, you have to be kind of careful with them. But it does work. It does, it does. June thinks I'm gonna pick her up because she was getting medicine for so long that she just thinks I'm gonna pick her up all the time now. Excuse me. I'm not going to pick you up. Everybody got their nails clipped yesterday, so they're a little bit on edge for getting picked up again tonight, but nobody's getting picked up tonight. Let me know if there's any video topics you guys wanna see. The um, cage review will be up soon. It'll be up in the next week or so. And then I have a video coming on like creating an emergency plan for your pets. That was supposed to already be up, but we had some stuff going on. So I was only able to do one video that week. So that'll be coming. And then the hay comparison video 
will definitely be coming. It's just taking me a while to do that one because I have to have everybody taste test and I don't like to just change their hay like overnight because I don't want to risk anybody like not eating enough hay. So I'm giving it to them in little bits. So like everyone, all the pigs have had oxbow so far and then like right now the bunnies have the oxbow. So I'm kind of just like switching things out and figuring out whether people like it honestly i don't know if i'm the best like judge of that because my pigs aren't used to eating timothy hay so they can be kind of picky but we'll see how it goes and then i'm also doing a video or i'll be doing a series in uh, july august or july I, I don't know for sure yet because i have quite a bit to to get ready for it but i will be doing a video series like an entire month long series on fleece so it will be how to make fleece liners from like what sewing machine to get what supplies to go buy how to buy fabric at the at the fabric store just like from start to finish every single step every single bit every single tool supply product prices on everything and um, there will also be an ebook that I'm putting together for that. So it's going to be like a five video series with an ebook. And I think the ebook's only going to be like, I don't know, probably like $10 because it's going to be like pretty in depth. But it'll have measurements and just like ever, anything you could need, want to know. So that will be coming because a lot of people ask me about fleece and where I get my fleece. When I say I make it, they want to know how. So I'm going to be doing that. So I'm kind of excited about that. I have the fleece for that, but I have some clips I need to film. And I think I'm going to do that in July because I have to have, you know, time to make the stuff and film making it and all of that. So that will be coming. But let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. Right now, um, we are treating June for a respiratory infection and mites. Her antibiotics for the respiratory infection are done, so she's she's like good to go. I caught it really early. I don't know why she is more prone to respiratory infections because nobody else has ever had one. And I mean, you guys see how my cages are. They all get the exact same care, but she got a respiratory infection the exact same time last year. So I don't know if it's just the weather change or what that's about, but we are treating her for that and she's like halfway through her mite treatment so her hair is starting to grow back so she's looking better now but she wasn't like sick sick i just like picked her up one day and i was like hmm you seem like your hair's a little bit thin and she can't have ovarian cysts because she is spayed because she already had ovarian cysts so had to be mites had to be caused by something else so we just treated her for it and she's good to go and i actually am treating these two girls for mites as well just preventatively nobody else is showing signs of them but since they share a wall it was just easier to treat everyone but that is what i do in the evenings i'm gonna make sure everybody has water they have enough hay for now but i'll give them more hay before i go to bed today everybody will get more hay before i go to bed today make sure they have water bunnies need water because mikey's drinking it all right now but this is what I do every evening and I love having my nice big window and everybody's just happy and doing their little piggy business so thank you guys for watching let me know if you have any video requests or questions or anything like that down below in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video bye